Hello everyone. I just remembered that actually I was sitting before on the terrace and I came out here to have a better vista for you with the with the river and I forgot how hot it is getting here. Uh, right now I'm standing in the shadow but nevertheless the sunlight is bouncing off uh, the sand here and it is really hot. Nevertheless, I will try not uh, to sweat uh, too much. Actually, um, just before I started the video, I had an interesting conversation with someone over uh, the phone and it is always so intriguing to get artists to know and to get them to know not only from the perspective of also an artist, not only the cultural perspective, but also the business side behind it. You can experience always so much uh, creativity, what possibilities artists are actually using to get their money together, to build their wealth. And this is also something that I want to share with you about you possibilities actually to make so much more out of your uh, artistic skills and of, out of your creativity because I think it is really an important issue that artists are thinking actually ab also about the business side and the possibilities that they have uh, as, as also as a business person. I know artists and me myself, I don't like to see myself as a business person and even think about the business side of uh, of my art but nevertheless this is a very important point it will be necessary that actually we invest in our art and to invest in our art sounds a little bit strange but nevertheless money is always necessary to buy you art materials and in this way you are investing in, in something and you are created, creating out of this investment something new, an artwork. And nevertheless, there will be a point where there has to be a return of investment. The money that you have invested in your art materials should come back some, sometime down the line from the, uh, when you are selling you uh, uh, artworks so you can invest again and then you can keep up moving this process of creating art and if we like it or not money is, is a necessary issue of thinking uh, about yourself as, as an artist and that's why for me it is always important not only to talk with my clients and my students about this but also to make a shout out through the social media about uh, it I know it is not such a popular uh, issue but nevertheless for many people it is I think important that someone is initiating actually some thoughts that are, is making it easier for them to think about uh, the necessary money the necessary business side of their art but um, let me um, talk about what what actually the call was about it was actually an artist that um, I cannot go into details because uh, the details of my clients is something that I always keep as a secret no no matter what that's why I became so important for many uh, people because I understand how to keep secrets nevertheless what I can tell you is actually that this artist has developed some possibilities what is actually surrounding his own art as a possibility to actually make extra money to to develop uh, extra income that is supporting his art in an incredible way it, it was a time investment we are, we are working on on this specific issue for half a year I think but now it's beginning to paying off that's why it is important to me to talk to you about the opportunity that you are having about the possibilities that you are having because when you want to become a successful artist or make out of your art a success it is always too, too very important to think 
about the opportunities that you are having and the possibilities that you are having that are perhaps outside of what you are doing also in, in art because your art is surrounded through so many things that can be of value for people and when you think about it all the uh, important artists that in the art history or now in the contemporary art are always also slipping in different roles there are sometimes consultants like a new building is built and an artist can function as a consultant what art uh, could uh, improve their rooms so the people that are working there are actually working more efficient this is just one hint what you can do actually as an artist so a successful artist don't understand the um, don't believe in the myth that the art is ending with just what they are doing as an artist. There are many other possibilities that are actually influencing their own art, but also influencing what could be a possible income uh, from, uh, for, uh, for their art. And once you are get over this myth that as an artist you have only the choice to starve as a painting artist or uh, just get out of art and start a regular job. I wouldn't believe in this myth because there is uh, there are many there is a whole scale what you can do and what you can actually feel uh, comfortable with. Uh, with it is your decision how much um, you can split your focus a little bit away from the from from the work that you love to do because nevertheless when you have once decided to become a professional artist you are actually not bound anymore to your emotional side and not only doing what your heart is telling to do you are a professional now as an artist and it as, as part of becoming a professional artist you are dedicated to the needs of, of others that's perhaps is one of the most important um, uh, distinctions to make from being an amateur, this is a positive thing by the way, and a professional artist. A professional artist is thinking beyond his own feelings, emotions and often his ego. He's more there to use his gifts to their well-being or to their uh, to the, the gain also of, of others and in this way he can can help a lot of more others and in return gain a lot of more of it there's nothing wrong to be or to stay even an amateur like the word is saying I'm repeating this over and over the word uh, amateur includes the word amore that's that's love it's making art out of love and this is an important part that you love you art so much that you dedicate yourself fully to it that's that's great but there's also the professional side of, of being an artist to be there for the needs and the values of others and in this lies a great uh, possibility and once you are getting over this uh, myth that you can do only art out of love and for yourself to the needs of others you are opening a lot of more possibilities for your own art as I was saying in the beginning actually in this way you are opening up a window to more investment into your art when you are gaining more money actually you will be also able to invest more money in your art and in this way you are opening a way to lift your art to the next level and I think this is a very important uh, point it is not a decision that you are making just like this it is happening over time and it is happening perhaps with initial thoughts and this is what I think I will talk a, a little bit uh, today uh, about because you can as an artist think what is your highest value possible the values that you can provide through your art to your creativity most likely this thoughts will be very near what you are doing what you love to do as an artist so it's painting or drawing or whatever you have mastered but around the subjects there are other values that you can produce perhaps they are not seems uh, don't seem so valuable for you but for other person this can be a lot 
of value like I was um, the, the example an artist that is very good at creating emotion with his paintings this artist also understands how colors how forms are influencing actually people and this knowledge alone without the painting this knowledge alone is uh, perhaps of value for people that are creating office rooms because in this way <clears throat> the person that is uh, having this office room can change the emotion make the people more efficient more focused or whatever needs this person is having and as a help to achieve this the artist knowledge about emotion and changing the dynamic of a room is of a high value so when you think about it not only what you are doing as an artist is of a high value but perhaps other things that are surrounding it are also of high value uh, for, for others. Where is also the point where your quality is superior to your quantity? What things are you doing right now? Uh, what possibilities do you have that are really more about a quality that is obvious uh, to others? This can be also a very important hint to what you can do actually with your art to provide value for others. Perhaps you have already painted something or done something as an artist where the quality was immediately obvious uh, to other people. And think like, uh, things like this can be a, a great hint to develop the next stage of uh, thinking because once you know what is an obvious value to the others, you can develop a whole list of things uh, from which people can benefit from your art and from your creativity and from your special skills in the best and, and fastest way. There are some things perhaps that you are already doing that is bringing a lot of quality forward and these qualities, these values that you are producing are immediately of use to someone. It is a little bit a thinking outside of the um, uh, uh, box, but nevertheless, perhaps you have some experiences where you have actually made um, the, when you have talked about your art or you have confronted someone with your skills, with your qualities, with your value, and there was no resistance to understand the value that you are providing. It can be something perhaps like being able to arrange things like perhaps you are someone that is normally uh, drawing or painting like flowers but you have found out that actually you are very good at arranging things putting things together in, in a way that is very attractive uh, to others and perhaps someone saw once how you have arranged some things and was telling you wow actually uh, you are perhaps a great painter, but the way you are putting things together is, is, is just great and I see immediately the, the value. And from such thought you can perhaps begin to discover how else can you use your, your, your gifts and how else can you um, achieve easy results for someone. And with time there will be perhaps opportunities where someone is needing the skills, the abilities uh, and, and so on. It is really it's very difficult to talk uh, about this just over a video because this is something that is very specific for every artist and every artist should sit down and reconsider the possibilities that um, he is uh, having. But nevertheless it is important not to to be, um, to be uh, too enthusiastic about what possibilities do you have to provide value because most likely this is also has comes with a price that you are losing focus on what you are doing so it is important to discover your possibilities actually around your core competence and not to get away too easy from this uh, core competence nevertheless stay with what you are doing but think about what has the highest 
value also for others as a byproduct as, or something that you can actually also do. And for this, you can, uh, with time, discover the necessary um, uh, clients. Because you must understand there's something that you are doing perhaps as a by-work or it's a, just a, a fraction of what you are doing or it is a skill or something that you are really good at nevertheless for someone else this this has value and perhaps this person right now is a, in a situation where you knowledge where you skill set where you uh, value has a much more higher value uh, for him right now in this situation and when you are very aware about you extra values extra skills that you can also use sometimes you are just lucky to find a person in need of this and when this person is in a situation where he or she can gain a lot of value out of your skill it is not a problem to ask them for a fraction of this value to go back to the um, example with this uh, how to uh, how to uh, design an office room so the workers there are more more focused more balanced and more uh, effective uh, it is something that this artist can do without thinking he can actually with his uh, paintings especially but in the way he's designing or he's thinking about rooms can develop a emotion and it is really incredible skill but he was never aware that actually there are people who are designing office room and the skill to create a emotion to create more efficiency create more focus can has have a outstanding influence on the efficiency of the of the workers and over time of a one year two years this more of efficiency is paying off so actually the person that is designing this office room is understanding how much value is it when the workers are 10 or 20 percent more efficient and this is accumulating to a sum that is incredible for for the artists to think about just think about it when some rooms are uh, developing as an office room how much only the desks are costing there are hundreds of of uh, dollars uh, hundred hundred thousands of, of dollars when it's really a big office room and there's no problem to get uh, so much money as an investment just to buy the desk and if you have something that is influencing the efficiency of workers how much more value can it be so this artist has to rethink his position it is possible of course to bring in his art in these rooms but this art goes for thousands of, of dollars but to influence the whole productivity of a room is something in which the client is seeing much more value than just in one painting because this is influencing immediately the um, the profit from from the client and when the client is profiting so much it is not a problem to actually uh, get so much more uh, value out of it uh, not only from the paintings but from the whole projects just because this artist was able to think outside of his box to rethink his possibilities and it is important to not be this is a great possibility to see your art but most artists tend to stay in their idealistic room idealistic thoughts about the art what the art should do and how it should influence uh, uh, others instead of going out there seeing the reality <clears throat> and then finding out how others can use their their own skills um, I have made the experience with one artist that even said no to uh, to some clients because what the clients was doing was not something that was in the idealistic sphere how the artist is thinking so he refused actually to help someone because he didn't want to see himself or his art in this way and this is okay this can be 
a very also an important uh, step when you don't want to influence your reputation but I don't know uh, um, color design slaughterhouses or something like this some things are worth to say no but there are other possibilities to help others to provide them with with value but uh, not don't build it in your own belief system but allow it the reality allow it the business world allow it really the input from outside what can be also done with your gifts, with your possibilities, with your skills. And it is all about communication. And uh, once you have found out this factor, this possibility that you are having and a client in need of these new possibilities, you will also discover that uh, there is no need for uh, convincing the clients of your uh, of your abilities because it is something in your core competence in and in this way that the clients are coming more naturally and you are in the position to allow it more happen so you are not like a craftsman that is going from door to door and asking uh, for work it is most likely something that will develop in a natural way when you once are allowing it when you are certain in your qualities in your values that you can provide for others this is a completely different approach than offering it is most uh, likely a process of finding people more in in uh, uh, need because you are so confident in your core competence in your possibilities in what you can provide as a value to to a possible client so that there's there's a immediate, immediately a uh, um, exchange of confidence you are capable of doing something for the for the client and this client understands the value and with your value he or she can achieve so much more and in this way you will not have a problem to uh, to just ask for a small fraction of the profit uh, from the top so it is a possibility a possibility to think about it first you should just think about some possibilities of yours then you should write down what skills are you having who can perhaps profit from it and then you are beginning to think about the people i call it with the neck problem you know it's like a bottleneck it's something that is very thin and from one point it is opening up again and you are the person who is capable of solving this bottleneck problem where the things that you, uh, your possible clients wants to achieve is getting stuck and you have the right possibility and you have the right skill to solve this bottleneck problem because the client himself is not capable of uh, doing it and by thinking how to help others how to support others and knowing about your skills with time you will discover the people with such bottleneck uh, problems and this is most likely the beginning of of uh, of your expansion of expansion perhaps yours uh, as well as a businessman not only as an artist but someone who is making profit by helping others to achieve what they want so they can make even more profits and and you are getting a slice of it and in the most industries in which the artists not even thinking about it that they can be of value there is a lot of profit to be made because most likely the places where a lot of money is made are the places where creativity and the artistic skills are very rare so you are a kind of specialist who is going into a field in which you can really support and help others because other way they will lose uh, perhaps something or they can not gain so much and your creativity alone can be of a very high value but as i was saying this is a process of development a process of thinking what is comfortable for you what is inside your core competence where do you not lose focus on what you are doing as an artist or as a creative and in this way you are developing uh, the, the thoughts and it is developing to a point 
where you actually are seeing then the people in need that are your possible uh, clients um, in the future. But nevertheless, this is uh, something that you should take time to think about. It is not something that you can just switch your fingers and then suddenly your clients and your income possibilities will just appear. It is just uh, what I'm doing here. These are just my scattered thoughts after a phone call. But nevertheless, I wanted to provide you with this perhaps interesting insight because very often uh, creative people are struggling a little bit with the business side or with the income and it is really strange because there are so many possibilities to expand as a creative person as an artist and in this way secure your income uh, source so you have the necessary money that you can invest in in your art and make your art so much bigger so much greater and just think about all the people that will come into your life bringing new input new possibilities and from there everything begins to uh, develop and and to move it is worth as experiment in the end you can say no i want to be the starving artist and this is the world uh, as it is but um, i just want to tell you from my experience it is worth to just think about it and giving it just a, a, a try it is up to you you have to total freedom and you are making the decisions but it is a possibility to bring your art to the next level by having more resources to invest in it um, like my life here right now in, in, in Thailand I'm so inspired nevertheless I had to pay for my flight here I had to uh, pay for my bungalow and at, at the beach uh, this this for this resources are necessary but it was for me an investment that I was making gladly because I knew that this place especially Thailand will bring so much more inspiration in me and Thanks to this investment I was able to do, I am able now also to give you um, my thoughts because I have here more time and more freedom to think about all the things and take more time for calls with my clients and develop all the ideas that I'm sharing with you. I hope they are of some value for you, even just as an inspiration. By the way, nevertheless, somewhere down below in the description, you will find a, a link. You can click on it. And there I have most likely already put something together that will help you with the business side of, of a creative or, uh, or as an uh, artist. Then just after watching this video, click uh, there and you will figure it out if it is uh, of help to you. I will now take some time off first to drink a cold lemonade. I am really looking forward to it and then perhaps have a uh, walk and think about even more of it and write about it and perhaps with the link that you can click on even more uh, input will come together and will help you and support you. I hope also to see you in my next video. Until then, see you soon. Bye bye.